continues after last week's historic flooding in Saudi Daisy. Today, people spent the day cleaning debris like this out of creeks as members of the state's Environment and Conservation Department inspected the damage. Brittany Martin joins us now to tell us how they plan to prevent flooding from happening again and what you should do if you were affected. Brittany. Well, Trisha, this bridge used to cross over Little Saudi Creek until massive pieces of debris pushed it over. The people who inspected this area today say debris is one of the main reasons this area flooded last week. Today, the Little Saudi Creek is back at its normal level. But last week, this area was unrecognizable with floodwaters that rushed into homes and killed one woman. Elizabeth Allen was here at her home and says it happened so fast she barely had time to get to safety. Before I was able to get out, it was hitting the back porch and I had to step down into knee deep water to get in. The water swept away eight feet of her property. I'm truly blessed that I'm not stripping everything out of my home. I've lost a lot of memories, baby clothes. I, bet I had to pick and choose what to save, but I have my life and I'm truly blessed. Today, she met with representatives from the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation. They were here discussing methods of cleanup and how to prevent last week's flooding from ever happening again. Once it comes that? through there, right. it explodes out because yeah. it, it's got all that energy and there's nothing to restrain it. It's got to go. Yep. Yeah. It, it just goes. TDEC Cruz told Saudi Daisy's mayor that removing debris and reinforcing the creek's banks could solve the problem. They discussed installing these rock formations called gabion baskets. These are the ones on the North Chickamauga Creek. Yeah. I'd say baskets would be our best bet. Because you're interlocked and that's it becomes right. a mass, and that's the biggest thing you can put in here. Mayor Robert Cothran says now they need money. The best way to get government help is when people report the damage. You need a labor that you put into it, anything that you lost, anything you had to buy to replace, we need to keep a record of that so we can turn it in to TEMA and FEMA so that we can get some help for our, our citizens in Saudi Daisy and Hamilton County. Cawthorn says everyone in the county who had even a little bit of damage, whether it costs you $5 or $30,000, should report it. Reporting live in Saudi Daisy, Brittany Martin, News Channel 9. Brittany, thank you. If you have flooding damage to report, we have that information on what to do on our website, newschannel9.com. There's also an event scheduled for tomorrow to help people understand what flood assistance is available. It will be held from 9 until 2 at Oak Street Baptist Church. Flooding victims will be able to speak with local providers and sign up for help. Funeral services are underway for the Saudi Daisy woman who died while trying to help a neighbor during the flood. Tina King Thorpe's family is receiving friends and family at Lane Funeral Home tonight. She'll be laid to rest tomorrow morning at Hamilton Memorial Gardens. A man